Captain Forest here, and in today's video I'm going to be going over both these combatants to see who win, more often not, in an inverse situation, God of Light Hal versus God Storm John. Now if you guys are new to my channel, please leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe for the content also. Massive shouts to Cough Shop Gang, they make awesome content, their links will be in the description. Also shouts to HQ Squad, massive shouts to Team, huge shouts to Slick. He helped me with the research and he also uh, spoke to me about who would win and we went back and gave our thoughts on this. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give my interpretations at the end, near the end after I deal with the scaling. But I'm going to start off with the, of course, the scout himself, the amazing leader, the Green Lantern that we all know, Hal Jordan. So Hal Jordan became the God of Light when his ring fused with the Mother Box. It's noted that the Mother Box can access energy from the source, which is already a remarkable feat on its own which is pretty impressive. Oa was unfortunately destroyed during that time, but we literally see with this newfound power that Hal discovered and merged with, it allowed God of Light Hal Jordan to reset Oa as it was before. This means that God of Light Hal Jordan is able to reality warp events and change events back to their original state. Another feat that comes to mind was when God of Light Hal Jordan was completely unbounded by space and time and became omnipresent and lastly, the God of Light power is stated to rival that of the Emotional Spectrum itself. And for those who aren't aware, the Emotional Spectrum resides behind the Source Wall, so already some creation level scaling right there and there. Okay, so that's going to round up God of Light Hal Jordan. I'm going to go ahead and talk about God Storm John Stewart to see what he brings to the table. Now, John Stewart was able to intercept and tank the God Storm, which is stated to be the end of everything and contained it within him. And because of that, John was touching the Source. John also has a conversation with an avatar of the source. The avatar of the source explains that John with this Godstorm amp is directly linked to the source and was the only John Stewart out of all other versions of himself to ever accomplish such a feat. Another remarkable showing for John. In the Justice League 2018 issue 75, we see John Stewart with his newly acquired power assist the Justice League and the Justice League incarnate. In their battle against the Dark Army, he was able to protect Batman from a sneak attack from Amped Necron, and he also was able to summon powerful constructs that represent the heroes in the Justice League, which is pretty impressive. Now that's going to round up Godstorm, Jon Stewart. I'm going to go ahead and give my analysis, talk about some miscellaneous things, and give my, th my thoughts on who I think wins more often than not in this inverse situation. So, I spoke to Slick, me and him gave our thoughts, and we had to look at the feats that were displayed for both combatants, statements, and all that good jazz. Now, it is impressive that God of Light Hal Jordan, of course, acquiring this newfound power, of course, fusing with the Mother Box, that's impressive. And of course, the statement that we uh, get from Hal Jordan himself stating that this power that he's discovered, the God of Light, is a rival to the emotional spectrum itself. Right there and there, we have some high out to the boundless scaling pretty easily. Now, of course, when we look at uh, John Stewart's feet, I think that's a lot impressive in my opinion. Just like, a little bit more impressive in my opinion because literally John just tanks this crazy explosion which is like some source scaling which is insane which is absolutely insane however of course I wouldn't say they would have the full power of the source itself of course it's a little bit unquantifiable to that degree we know that they both have like a special connection like a link to the source itself which is pretty impressive that's easily creation level scaling right there we also have the avatar of the source itself of course giving us more information and explaining how the source is connected to john and it's a really special connection which just goes to show that this version of john stewart is very powerful also creation level so you could also make the argument that he would also rival that of the emotional spectrum itself because they both have uh, similar similar feats, uh, both God of Light and John Stewart himself with the Godstorm amp since they since both powers are linked to the source in their own unique way. So that's they're pretty even if you look at it from just statements and just those feats alone. However, now we see some feats for John Stewart with this Godstorm amp, we literally see him uh, assist the Justice League, the Justice Incarnate, in their battle against the Dark Army. We literally see John being able to block an attack from uh, Necron, who was also amped by the Chains. Now, the Chains that they all got, or the Dark Army who were influenced by it, they got a pretty powerful buff 
like it came to a point where a lot of the Justice League members were having a lot of trouble except for like Black Adam. Jon Stewart was doing pretty decent. He was able to block that attack even though the construct was destroyed but it was still able to it was powerful enough to just neutralize the attack altogether which is still impressive because the dark army is some serious business like even superman was getting dropped on his head and that's when you know you're dealing with very powerful combatants and we literally see also afterwards specter rolls up because he he was also a victim of the dark influence he was also part of the dark army pariah had control over him we literally see him scream and attack john stewart John Stewart literally is able to endure this attack and we literally see him standing up afterwards which is pretty impressive. So he has some pretty decent endurance feats with this newfound power and some pretty good constructs that he can that he can create himself as well. So based off what I've seen more often than not, me personally, I think if they was to both fight God of Light and God Storm, I think with incredible difficulty in my opinion, I have to side with God Storm, John Stewart, in my opinion, I think it's very close. But I want I'm going off not just statements, but I'm also going off feats. I think the feats kind of support and help uh, John Stewart a little more. I think it helps him in this fight. It gives him more reinforcement, especially with his amp, and especially against the type of characters he was fighting. The Dark Army itself is nothing to scoff at. The Dark Army is absolutely insane. They also have creation level sca scaling, which is ridiculous. So based off that and just having more to add on to his like amp and more feats just to solidify this thing, I personally have to give victory to Jon Stewart with the Godstorm amp. I think it's very close now. How Jordan, he could potentially take victory if it came down to Haxes, especially if, if he resorts to the reali reality warping feat that he performed on Oa. That would be pretty impressive if he was to use such hacks I think he, he could take victory if it came down to hacks I'm not sure if uh, Jon Stewart has anything against something of that caliber so you could argue both ways but for me personally I have to give victory to Jon Stewart thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoy my video please leave a like comment down below give me your thoughts on the comment section bs it's been real see you guys in the next one peace